Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and is this the best selling 12 inch 2K smart mirror you can buy today? In this video, we will take a look at the Coral LM5 rear view mirror and dash cam. This is a dash cam and rear view mirror for your car that simply attaches to your existing rear view mirror. On the back, there is a 2K resolution camera and under the mirrored surface, there is a high quality IPS display. In the box, you get the dash cam mirror itself, a long micro USB to 12 volt cable to power it. You get a free 32 gig SD card to store captured videos and images onto it and a test certificate and a manual. And finally, you get an additional 1080p rear view camera that is attached to 10 meters of cable to install it to the rear of your vehicle. As I said earlier, not only will the LM5 act like a standard rear view mirror, it also has a full screen IPS display underneath it. You can toggle between them either by tapping on the mirror display or by pressing the main function button that's located underneath it. It uses the entire 12 inch mirror for its IPS touchscreen display once enabled, you can view what the dash camera can see very clearly alongside all the functions you have enabled. And there is also a power indicator at the top right too. Along the lower middle area, there is a few key function buttons. The first button allows you to mute the built-in microphone. Then there is a button to take a manual photo from the camera. You can start and stop the recording with the middle button and the final two buttons are there to save an event recording and also to enter into the settings menu to interact with its many onboard functions. In the settings menu, you can set loop recording length and volume of playback audio to activating the G4 sensor and enable the camera to monitor whilst you are parked. You can enter the license plate number from here also. This adds your license plate number over the recorded videos. And you can also set up a screensaver change the video capture compression and also set the refresh rate. The display on the LM5 is really nice. It's bright with a wide field of view and it's very responsive. Its touch input is consistent and reliable and its built-in processor is fast enough to quickly switch between its various menus, functions and video playback. There is no Wi-Fi and app support with this camera. So you either have to pull out the SD card and view your recordings on your desktop computer or you can view this content on the wide 12 inch touchscreen display. Viewing the playback on the big display such as this is much faster than viewing it in an app on your smartphone. From here, you can view back all the video clips on the mirror display by selecting a thumbnail in the menu on the left side of the display and view your selected video on the right half of the display. You get a super long micro USB power cable to charge the camera. I would have preferred this cable to be micro USB or even USB-C to feature proof it a little. This is important if you really spend the time installing a power cable around your dashboard interior, but this is less of an issue if this is your first dash camera. It's unfortunate the cable is molded to the 12 volt adapter that doesn't have any additional USB ports. If you don't have access to any other charging ports in the car, you'll not be able to use this socket to charge your phone or any other device. The good news is that I was able to charge the camera from a USB cable connected to a power bank. So if you have a mini USB cable that's long enough, you can connect this camera via a different cable to a 12 volt dual USB adapter instead. Another niggle I had with the LM5 dash camera was that the charging cable connects to the top of the mirror display, which reduces the overall aesthetics of the camera. Personally, I would have liked to have seen it attached more discreetly at the back of the mirror. Installing the mirror display was super simple. I recommend that you connect the camera to a wall adapter to add a little charge to its internal 500 milliamp hour battery before installation. This allows you to see the camera on the display without first plugging it in. So this allows you to get the best placement on your rear view mirror before you connect up the mains power cable. Although the mirror has a super wide 12 inches, the camera can only be positioned on the left hand side. It can't be rotated to have it on the other side for us left hand drivers in the UK, unfortunately. 
With its built-in sensors, I would have liked to be able to rotate the dash camera and have its interface rotate and adapt to its new orientation. Once I mounted the display as close as to the edge of my rear view mirror as I could get it, it just wasn't long enough to hide the rear view mirror on my Mark 7 Golf in its entirety. Again, reducing the overall aesthetics of it a little. It's unfortunate that you can't replace your existing mirror either with this display because there simply isn't any mounting holes or ways to attach it other than around your existing mirror. But as there are so many other mounting types in vehicles, I can understand why this isn't available, but I would have liked to have at least seen a general mounting solution to replace my mirror with this display. The dash camera carries some decent specs. It has a 2K recording resolution of 2560 by 1440p. It's worth pointing out that you don't see this entire capture on the mirror display. It's more of a horizontal crop along the center of the full video being captured. So you have to bear that in mind when adjusting the camera's overall position. There is a six glass wide angle lens that features a 160 degree of field of view, which offers a nice wide angle view of the road ahead of you. Videos are recorded in MP4 format with the choice of using either H.264 or H.265 compressions and at a refresh rate of either 50 or 60 hertz. With these specs, you get a great level of detail and clarity from the videos that are captured from the dashboard camera. Daylight captures are very good with smooth frame rates and great quality thanks to its high quality lens and wide field of view. Nighttime recording is also just as good with clear clarity at night time with very little glare and um, detail is also retained in the camera itself as well. During my time with the LM5, I found a few issues that I would like to see addressed. The first that is that I couldn't see how to turn the dash camera view from displaying when I started the car. I always had to manually either turn it off or wait the 60 seconds it takes before it automatically turns off. I found this to be quite distracting because you're more likely to use the mirror at the very first instance of driving than actually use the dashboard camera itself. A minor issue I found with the LM5 was how it attaches to the mirror itself. It uses these rubber attachments which makes it slightly less stable than your existing mirror. This leads to more vibration in the mirror than if it was more solidly attached. Perhaps a firmer or rigid clip system would have been better here but I can see why a softer plastic was used to suit all types of mirror sizes. I wanted the mirror to cover the entire width of my mirror and sadly, even with a wide 12 inch display, it just wasn't enough to fit the camera on one side and also cover the entire mirror on the other. But with that said, I like having the mirror integrated in the mirror itself rather than attaching itself to the windscreen. It makes it much less obvious from anyone viewing it from the outside. I found the built-in speaker to be a little too quiet for my liking. The microphone also doesn't really capture as well as my Xiaomi 70 My Pro camera does. The speakers look like they are firing out the back of the display, which means the audio is being sent straight into the existing rear view mirror. This results in a quieter overall audio display where I think downward firing speakers from the bottom of the casing would have been much better here. I was unable to review the rear view camera module, but its cable length and high resolution lens will be definitely sufficient for the purpose of a rear view camera. With the built-in reverse assistance of the large 12 inch screen, I would only imagine how much better that would improve the experience when reversing in a car with limited rear vision. The Coral LM5 rear view mirror dashboard camera retails for $199 directly from Coral and it also comes with free shipping. There's a lot to like with this product, however there is a few refinements that could have been made to make it truly a must have accessory in your car or a recommended replacement for your existing dashboard camera. Alright thanks for watching, I hope you found this helpful, if you have give us a like, give us a subscribe, it really helps us out. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.